Okay, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, y'all? It's God Mama here. Shout out to all my God family, y'all. I'm doing something a little different right now. What I'm doing is zodiac signs. Okay, so I just did Aries and I ain't gonna jack. It was just so much, you know what I'm saying? Peace, love, and light because Aries been up on some other stuff, certain ones of them, you know what I'm saying? Peace, love, and light. And I just had to do that. I had to do these individual zodiac signs so I could see who's doing what, what's going on, where it's going on. You understand? So I can go ahead and put two and two together and put these faces to these cases. You understand what I'm saying? Peace, love, and light. But we're going to go ahead and jump into Pisces. Um, uh, that's how I'm doing it. Uh, I'm going with the first and the last first. You understand what I'm saying? Peace, love, and light. And I'm, heard, I'm hearing something like the first... The, the the ones who was first will now be last and those who will last will now be first that's what i'm hearing at this time peace love and light um it is what it is you know what i'm saying let's just go ahead and get into this reading you understand what i'm saying peace love and light we doing pisces okay zodiac sign of pisces god I ask that you assist me with helping the pisces provide them with the truth at this time um and with clarity and understanding of what comes towards us at this time and i ask that you help me to provide them with um, protection as well as advantageous, advantageous information. So Pisces attacking the devil off back. <laughs> what the fuck am I telling y'all? Pisces off back having a fight with the devil or having a fight with some sort of dark energies or releasing some sort of negative attachments, cutting off some negative attachments. Pisces coming out with the taking affirmative action, okay? Peace, love, and light. So, damn, Pisces, it's your fault that the Aries, the police on the Aries, look at that. <laughs> I don't know, because I just saw that up in the Aries reading. Let me make sure I go ahead and shuffle out my deck real good. Peace, love, and light. So, I'm going to shuffle out my deck real good up in your face, because um, that part right there. So, there's off back, there are some similarities. Peace, love, and light. I just saw the chariot car pisces so i'm getting that you learned a lot of lessons okay you um life wasn't easy for you and you learned a lot of lessons now and they and it's like now you're unstoppable you're um at propelling yourself forward at a rate that is unstoppable anybody try to get in your way they get trampled over you understand what i'm saying peace love my so pisces pisces zodiac sign of pisces give me clear and truthful information in regards to what's going on with pisces at this time and how they can best move forward or protecting themselves and towards um accomplishing their goals peace love and light pisces zodiac sign of pisces so pisces right now you're needed to be um observative is what i'm getting from here this is represented speaking speaking candidly okay that means being truthful being honest outspoken as well um you could be learning something or somebody could be learning from you or watching you at this time um and they seeing how strong and courageous and how powerful you are at this time understand that you have more power in certain situations than you even know at this time you needed to be assertive and that's what i'm getting from it as well whoever's watching you they see you assertive your power and your authority pisces peace love and light what is going on pisces you fearlessly communicating okay pisces with this palace of swords here so pisces you could be a teacher okay and you could be teaching some very serious and important life lessons to somebody at this time as well and we got the ten of pentacles okay so pisces you got a you got a situation here where i feel like um this may be your place of work, um, is what I'm hearing. Or this is you living in the high rise in a big city and stuff like that is what I'm getting. This also could be like some sort of a place like a library or a school institution or a doctor or something like that. But this is getting some sort of information or reading over some sort of information um, is what I'm getting from it. It's like something that might require a signature as well, but it's like you getting this Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is the truth. And what I'm getting from it is a large sum of money, okay? Peace, love, and light. And from this deck of cards, where this deck of cards is um, concerned, this is what you work hard for. You earn this money. So you earn your money. Oh, this is going to be a super large amount of money with the, with the sun, the devil, and the ten of pentacles, okay? A super, super large amount of money coming your way. Um, I feel like somebody because is wanting to make some sort of exchange with you or they might be sending you some money, okay? Somebody's going to send you some money, okay? Peace, love, and light. 
So this is like a transfer of wealth or just a, somebody's transferring some money from their account into yours. That's the truth, Ace of Swords. Peace, love, and light. Something is over. Something is complete with the death card here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Um, it's what I'm hearing. There is some sort of a victory here. Okay. Um, what I'm getting from it is... You probably started from the bottom. Now you hear I'm hearing that too. Peace, love, and light. Shout out to Drake. He is Scorpio. He got that son. Started from the bottom. Now we here. So this is what I'm getting from it. When I said nothing or nobody can get in your way, that's also the truth. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like you're very smart. You could be a student at this time. You could be in college yourself or you could be a teacher. But what I'm hearing here is like you teaching people how to let stuff go, let things go. And you taught yourself how to let things go. You know what I'm saying? You have no problem causing endings at this time. Um, shout out to all my silent killers. Peace, love, and light. I'll, I'll, I'll be saying that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's like you it's, it's, you it's best to just cut people off without even letting them know that you're cutting them off. Sometimes it's best to cut people off without them even knowing that you're cutting them off is what I'm getting here. So this could be that as well, representing you cutting some people off and you taking control in your life, taking your power back and authority, moving forward with your truth. That caused some sadness for somebody. Emperor here. Somebody got some regrets and they feeling that sh they feeling ashamed. Okay, this could be a Scorpio. This could be a Scorpio feeling like they made the wrong choice or decision. Okay, um, somebody is married, but they married only for stability. They did not marry for love. Okay, we got the Seven of Swords here. So this represents some scheming, some plots, some lies. Somebody regret scheming and plotting and lying on you. I'm also getting from this environment is people around that be scheming and plotting and lying, but somebody finna get caught up. They probably a Scorpio. Um, that's the truth. Peace, love, and light. So somebody might be asking you for something or you could be giving somebody something, some help or a gift or something like that. But there's a Scorpio that you know that's going through a very sad time as well because they could be in jail. I'm getting that too with this Palace of Swords. They could be up in jail um, for something that they did wrong. You know what I'm saying? That they was doing, they was trying to get away with something, Okay. And we got this Eight of Cups here. So this also is like somebody move on with their life, right? And I feel like it's warranted that you moved on. You got reasons to have moved on with your life. This is the truth. This man see clearly why you moved on as the eight of, as the King of Swords here. King of Swords up in this deck represents somebody who got a real deep understanding and stuff like that. And not only that, it's like at the same time, they are they even though they know a lot of stuff, they still open to learning and things like that from different perspectives and stuff like that and different learning different things and ways of doing stuff. And they teach those things things to the other people that they know and stuff that they care about what i'm getting from it is this person watch you walk away and i feel like they can't do nothing but be sad or cry about it because they know they was in the wrong and it's pisces energy the pisces the one that walk away and that's the ace of swords that's the truth I'll be wondering why people be trying to make it seem like Pisces just got shitted on and was accepting themselves being shitted on and Pisces is the ones that's sitting around hurt. Um, any if Pisces that has been evolving, evolving over these past like four years, ain't no Pisces sitting around hurting over shit. We literally been moving on. <laughs> That's what's crazy about this stuff that everybody coming up with all of these delusional ass thoughts and stuff or um, scenarios about what Pisces been on. It's been so many people from the past been trying to come back and shit too. Pisces been literally like shitting on people. I don't know what the hell people thought if we were sitting around waiting up on you all the, like why when you come back you get the boot, you get the door. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You have, Some of y'all ain't even able to get through because y'all realizing y'all blocked. They, we you, you done blocked they ass. You know what I'm saying? Peace, love, and light. Damn. So we got the Queen of Wands card coming out. Aries energy coming out up in the Pisces reading as well. It's crazy. So Pisces, you know, walk away from an Aries female or something like that is what I'm hearing. Um, and it's like um, you following your heart. 
okay whatever you can't learn from this woman if this is a woman it's nothing that they can teach you nothing that you can learn from them is what i'm hearing they probably popular and stuff like that is what i'm getting This person is finna be experiencing some... What, let me see. What's up with this Queen of Wands before I even say anything else? This is some sort of family member or friend. Okay? And this is the thing about it is... You might be younger than this individual. How she's grown and stuff like a woman, right? Like that. And then it's like these cups and so This person got fond thoughts and memories and stuff like that of you. But I'm also getting it's like something about the past and something about memories with this person. It's a, it's over with. It's a death here. Transformation of a situation. You understand between you and this person. And it's like somebody called themselves taking some sort of an opportunity from you or some shit like that as well. This person could consider themselves taking some sort of an opportunity from you. But they end up stuck with this hanging man card here. And with the four of cups here, that's um you rejecting this individual. So they could be a family member or something like that, right? Is what I'm getting from it. And it's something where it's like you are somebody who just be doing your own thing with this hangman card here. Because it's Pisces energy, right? What I'm getting from it is that somebody misses you with this four of cups here. How this person is sitting there staring at that cup. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and the thing about it is, whoever this person been associating themselves with, with them three of cups at the bottom, they all empty. They don't got shit to offer this person. And then I just say you can't learn nothing from this individual, whoever they is. It's like if you release them and you decide to go your own way and follow your heart and stuff and do what's in your heart to do, that has nothing to do with this person. So we got the four of, I mean, we got the star card here, which represents divine healing. It represents being an inspiration to other people. Um, it also represents like shining your light up on, in a situation, okay? You could be healing others and helping others as well. But I'm getting like um, a situation where it's like somebody longing for somebody else or something like that. It's like, um, don't, don't be sitting around waiting on nobody. I'm hearing when you're not waiting, it's when somebody's going to send you a message or when you're not thinking about something, something's coming through, okay? So, Pisces, yeah, this is Pisces looking at, I ain't going to even jack, it's looking like Pisces looking at people like Pisces ready to cut anybody off. Anybody can get cut off. Eight of Wands, which represents some motion, forward movement, changes happening in your life, back and forth communication between yourself and another water sign, Pisces, okay, or this this uh, Pisces, this could be you, this King of Cups could be you, this communicating with somebody though, this some forward movement and changes happening in your life, you, you in a victorious period or time or something or this person okay this person is longing for this cup whoever and you got this cup right there ain't shit up in that cup right so that's you sitting around missing this other individual okay and it's this you missing this person and you want to talk to this person you want to reach out to this person so you can talk to this person but i'm hearing when somebody reaching out to you somebody's reaching out to you to talk to you so this if this other person ain't a pisces they could be like a pisces um they got Pisces somewhere in a chart, but they could be an air sign, okay? Um, they could be a sibling or something of yours as well. We got the Eight of Swords here. Somebody um, definitely is, like, literally blinded by your light. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like somebody, they haven't been around you in so long, but then it's like when they see you or they get around you and they see how bright you shining and how much good you got going on and it's like they feel stuck you know what i'm saying they feel like they don't know what to do they got themselves into a bit of a conundrum is what i'm seeing here and i feel like somebody was probably calling you at a certain point in time because they had got themselves caught up into some shit but you were asleep And have faith, okay? With the faith card coming out. There is going to be a death in your family, Pisces. Peace, love, and light. I'm going to just keep it real. We got to keep it real. There is. But it's like God don't want you to... Um, 
it's like and it's also because there's a transformation going on in your family so this could have something to do with a scorpio going through a transformation in your family it don't got to necessarily be death but it's death to some old ways of thinking and being and stuff like that more than likely um that's a fact peace love and light is what i'm hearing but what i'm getting from it is that um you and some people need some breaks, but you need some space between somebody, probably a Scorpio, is what I'm seeing, because it's about faith. It's about faith. And this Scorpio is going through a transformation where their faith is concerned. And you see how all these different things up in there got something different. There's like a star that's representing like... um probably sorcery or some shit like that then there's a cross then there's the moon with the star which is like muslim um so that's christianity and muslim and stuff then there's a wheel and stuff like that so that's people that believe in that okay then we got the like the asian stuff up there i don't know buddhism and things like that it's just different things so this person is going through a transformation up in their life um at this time and it's like whatever they used to believe in they don't believe in that no more but it's like they at this point a time where all of this other stuff is rotating in their mind so because they're trying to find their place they trying to find what's right for them or or what to believe in with faith card there what to have faith in four of wands which definitely represents some okay you're moving into luxury living luxury living okay and you could live live like up in a, a gated community or a protected environment and stuff like that is what i'm hearing um you got a, a very um well put together home life is what i'm hearing pisces with the four wands it definitely represents um something uh, what i tell you when you're not waiting on it is when it's going to come through for you as well and what i'm getting from this is um something it's like you're being initiated into a new faith or something like that too pisces you you have a new faith and you're the door somebody's opening this door for you this whoever this emperor is okay so the wheel is turning right and we got the lover's card we got this queen of coins here we got the emperor here in the palace of coins somebody's wish fulfillment is coming true pisces is what i'm hearing i'm guessing it's going to be yours because this is in your this your reading right peace love and light palace of coins here um this also could be what you want you know what i'm saying peace love and light so right now you're living in an apartment that's what i'm getting from me with this palace of swords cards here and this aces that's the truth okay but you live very very well and somebody was trying to sabotage you and they regret doing that okay they got caught up with that okay now you probably finna be moving to your own house like a, a house or something a mansion five of swords what i'm telling you somebody try to sabotage you they trying to betray you with this five of swords here talking all of this shit doing shit behind your back while you've been resting the four of swords is right there but this person got a five of swords this the person that'll stab you up in your damn back is what i'm hearing be be mindful and be um aware in your um home environments or when you out in public and stuff like that because i'm hearing that it's somebody around you your family certain family members be talking shit about you and stuff when you're not around and these people will snake you certain people in your family have betrayed you and what i tell you because they up in this low vibrational ass toxic energy same shit from the aries energy but it's like you don't play with that devil energy you put that shit to rest and you live a life in peace and up in aries reading it was saying that aries don't got no peace because they the ones that's been operating up in this damn devil energy low vibrational ass energy so you see y'all see that up in Pisces that that damn temperance car is in the upright. We got the six of wands coming out in Pisces reading. And it's so crazy that that was the first card that came out up in that lady reading and stuff like that. And then she started talking negative. Pisces is a winner. The fuck? Pisces winning right now. And Pisces, take action. Whatever action that you need to take, okay? Take that action. Have faith in yourself and the actions that you are taking. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like if you recently told somebody, no, you got a victory for doing that. 
You it, it's like spiritual. You was meant to tell that. There you go with your temperance card coming right out. You've been keeping the peace. You've been tempering energy. You could recognize that you or, or realize that you got a spiritual gift and ability where you able to control energy policies with the sun card there. Period. You know what that means? You know what I'm saying? Everything revolving around the sun. You understand what I'm saying? With this high priestess, Pisces, judgment in the favor of you, baby. Like, no, I don't know what the hell these people talking about, but they can keep on talking because clearly they ain't doing shit but talking themselves into trouble. And with that being said, my Pisces people... My my Pisces family, my God family, you understand what I'm saying? Y'all be blessed. You know what I'm saying? Be blessed. You got a new blessed, new beginning coming here after all this stuff that you've been through and shit like that. And it's like you should have beat them people ass, but you didn't even have to. God finna bless you greatly, okay, for how you've been handling things and keeping the peace. You know what I'm saying? That's what walking away does. Whether you walking away because you're fed up, whether you walking away because you had enough, whether you walking in a way because a person was just super shitty towards you and it don't matter when you choose to not retaliate against those people you understand what i'm saying you leave the door open for god to handle their ass you hear me when you don't use your sword god uses god's sword didn't i tell y'all that before and let the church say amen peace love and light